we are going to discuss the basics of algebra as we have already seen what is meant by algebra and how it will deal in mathematics today we will discuss the terminologies that we will continuously use in our um, lectures uh, and you must have their concept so in this lecture we are going to discuss the variables what are variables with example constants constants coefficients coefficients exponent and base so these are the uh, basically uh, the terminologies that we will uh, use again and again throughout uh, in our uh, lectures of algebra so you should have the uh, clear concepts about these terms of algebra let's define them one by one with the help of example we will start from the variables what is a variable it is a very important concept of algebra is a variable what is variable it's very important to have a clear concept about it that how you can define a variable and how you can uh, uh, distinguish between the variable and concepts and constants in a algebraic expression so we will start from its definition a variable is a a symbol a symbol or alphabet a symbol or alphabet that represent that represent a quantity a quantity in mathematics in mathematics a quantity in mathematics that that is either that is either arbitrary or unknown arbitrary or unknown that means you don't know the value okay this is the definition of variable which represents that a variable is a symbol or alphabet that is representing a quantity that is either arbitrary that is not fixed or that is or that is unknown okay so this was the definition of a variable and there are some facts that you have to keep in your mind while representing a variable so the facts are the facts are letter x y and z are most commonly used for variable are most commonly used for variable used for variable other than that you can also find abc lmn pqr these are also all the variables of which you of which uh, the value of which is unknown or arbitrary okay another concept that we, that is important is a variable is represented by a single letter okay a variable is represented by a single letter single letter like a or b or c or z or x y z okay and another thing is 
alternatively we can also say that variable is we can also say that a variable is variable is a placeholder is a placeholder that means it is holding a value for a for the time being for a for a while for a short period it is holding a certain value in it so but the but the value is unknown currently the value is unknown or arbitrary or not fixed so these are the few facts about the variable that you have to keep in your mind whenever you um, uh, whenever whenever you are going to solve a certain algebraic expression in uh, uh, in algebra okay let's take some examples let's take an example so that you can understand it properly so the for example for example if i say what plus what plus 2 equals 5 equals 5 for example this is a statement how you can write it in the form of algebra when you are uh, when you will be asking that you will uh, you will be given this expression and you will be asked how you will write it in algebra okay we will represent them one we will replace these words by the um, by different uh, by the by the relevant terms one by one let's see how two will be replaced by the digit two equal will be will be replaced by equals and it will be replaced by 5 and this is the plus now what you will write here what do you know what it means currently you are unaware of what plus 2 equals 5 when you are unaware of the when you are unaware of the value of certain thing then you have to pick a variable for the time being to place there so we pick a variable x say x it could be any a b c r p q r any any of the alphabet and you, uh, you can write here so whenever you, you don't know the value when the whenever the value is arbitrary or not fixed or you don't know what it is then you use a variable so it means x plus 2 equals to 5 currently you don't know what plus 2 equals to 5 5 what is the value of x is currently unknown unknown so this unknown value refers to as variable variable as its name also indicate the value it could, it could be vary it could be anything it could vary according to the expression or according to the situation so we can say that this is a variable besides x you can also write here y or z or a or b or c or anything else okay so this is a variable so in x plus 2 if we write as x plus 2 equals to 5 here this is a variable okay let's take another example you are giving uh, i am giving you the expression 4x plus 2y equals to 5 decide it by yourself what is the variable here okay let's find out we have already uh, defined the variable as it would be an alphabet it must uh, be a single letter okay so 
in a mathematical expression it has an arbitrary value here x and y these are the variables very easy to identify what are the variables in an expression so this x and this y is the variable so we can write as x and y are the variables in a of expression are the variables in above expression okay so this was all about variables now let's see what are constants we will see what are constants these are all the very important terminologies of algebraic expression so you must have the clear concept about them okay so a con constant is defined as a part of algebraic expressions part of algebraic expressions that do not change that do not change okay so it is defined as that part of algebraic expression or the expression that is representing an algebra is that part of uh, part of the expression that do not change is are the constants okay so the value of constant will never change so we can also say when we can also say that constant does not contain any modifiable value constant does not contain any modifiable value okay so this is how the constants can be defined now let's see through example that what are actually the con constants let's take an example we have 8x minus 7 equals to 4 so what are the constants here the constants are basically the those part of the expression that do not change here 7 and 4 these are the constants as they do not contain any variable that will change their value so we can say that these are the constant now you must have a question here that is it a constant is it a constant no it is not a constant it is not a constant as it's it will vary depending on the value of depending on the value of x variable as it is multi as it is multiplying by a variable so it means it is not a constant so the constant va values here are 7 and 4 so hope so you got the concept of constant here now we will see what are the coefficients coefficients what are the coefficients coefficients are defined as the part of part of algebraic expression algebraic expression 
part of algebraic expression by which a variable is multiplied. A variable is multiplied. Okay. Now let's see how. Let's take an example. So that you can clearly know what are the coefficients. Let's take the previous example that as we have taken. 8x minus 5y equals to 4. Now we first we will label out those that we have already learned. This is the constant as its value will never change as it is not multiplied by any variable. Okay. Then these are the these are the variables as they will change according to the according to, uh, as they will uh, as they uh, we don't know they, their value and the, it is not fixed or we cannot specify their value before now what left is 8 and 5 what left is 8 and 5. What are these? These are the coefficients. These are the coefficients. It means these are, it means the, the that constant value that is a part of the algebraic expression by which a variable is multiplied. And this part is the constant part. But it is not a constant part. You can say the um, uh, the integer uh, integer number that is multiplied by the variables are the coefficients. So 8 and 5 8 and 5 are the coefficients here. Coefficients in the algebraic expression. Okay. Now let's see what are the exponents. Exponents and the base. Exponents and base. As they are closely related, so we will discuss them together. Okay. Exponents and base. Okay. Exponent. Let's take an example to have a concept of exponent. We are having an expression 6x square plus 5y cube plus x y equals to 3. Now we will evaluate one by one that how we can represent each of these digits in the expression. Start from the constant. This is a constant. Okay, yes, it is a constant. Okay. Now come towards the variables. We are having a variables here x and y, x and y and this. These are the variables. Okay. Then what we have after this we are having a, a coefficients. That is 5, 6 and 5 are the coefficients. Now what are the exponents and base here? Now this and this, 2 and 3, these are the powers. These are the powers. And are referred to as the exponents. It means y raised to power 3 means we have to multiply the y 3 times. So exponent y raised to power 3 refers to multiply the y 3 times. Okay. 
so this is the exponent and what is the base base is the base is the variables here this is the base base is the variable here so the as we are saying that here exponents are represent that how many times the base will be multiplied okay exponents are representing that how many times the base is multiplied so in this case in this case we are saying that the base y is multiplied is multiplied by 3 times is multiply is multiplied by 3 times by 3 times where 3 is the exponent okay so the number of times the base is is multiplied is the exponent so this is this was all about the concept of coefficients variables base and exponents the basics of algebra that you must know to uh, solve the uh, to solve the difficult difficult algebraic expressions in the um, uh, uh, difficult algebraic while solving the difficult algebraic expressions thank you